first and foremost, I want to say shout out to all the great fathers out there. All the fathers out there that's, that's actually take care of their kids, sacrifice for their families, do all those things. These are the men that I'm talking about in this video. Shout out to all the great fathers and happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there that really uh, support their children, man, and take care of their children and take care of their families. But I want to say this, man. I want to say something to all you children out there. A lot of y'all are team mom. Y'all love mom. Mom, mom, mom this. But I'm going to tell y'all something that y'all don't know. For all, a lot of those great fathers out there that's, that's out there that's been taking care of you, that's been holding you down since you've been born, if it wasn't for him, you wouldn't be here. Man, he, he, a lot of times he wasn't your mom's first choice. Man, he, man, he tried to talk to your mom 22,000 times before she finally said yes. He had to beg, pry, do all kinds of stuff. He begged for you to get here. He did all kinds of stuff for you to get here. And when you got here, he took care of you. I mean, you know, he took you to the, he always took you to the barber shop. He bought your clothes. He fed you. He took you out to play sports. I mean, if, if you was his daughter, he loved you. He protected you. And you still team mom first all the time, man. But y'all wasn't there before you was born with all the things he had to go through just to get with your mom. Because your mom was looking over there while he was right there the whole time. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. And I'm talking about the good dads. I'm talking, I ain't talking about, so don't leave no comments in my comment section talking about them bums or the bum dude. I ain't talking about them. They're not a part of this conversation. I'm going to erase the comment. I'm talking about the good dads. The dad, the dads that had to come up to her job or every time he saw her in the street, he tried to talk to her. She told him no and then finally told him yes. That's how you got here, little Johnny. You got here because of your dad's persistence. <laughs> I was just having a conversation with my son. I said, boy, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be here. You know how many times I had to talk to your mom before she finally said yes at church? <laughs> before she finally became my wife? I tried to talk to that woman seven times <laughs> on the eighth time. Hey, man, but it is what it is, man. But I just wanted to just drop some humor this morning, man. But to y'all kids, if it wasn't for a lot of these great dads out here, y'all wouldn't be born because if it left it up to your mom, you wouldn't be here. So go call your pop, man, and tell him thank you. Peace. <laughs>